might know a few things about Zane Gonzalez. You might know that he's Arizona State's kicker, you might know that his teammates call him Legatron, and you might know that he's the NCAA all-time leader in field goals made. But we wanted to know a little bit more about the guy, so we decided to play his favorite video game, EA Sports FIFA, find out a little bit more, and find out if he's as good as he says about video games. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do first question. Your favorite team is Chelsea. Why? Um, ever since they had Drogba and all them back in the day, kind of just became a fan of them. Like probably like '06 and they had Shevchenko and all them. Okay. Growing up, I was just a big fan of them. Gotcha. So you're not like too much of a bandwagon fan. Came yeah. Early. <laughs> yeah, I came early. Like people, some people try to call me a bandwagon, but I've been with them for a while. Okay. Who's your favorite player on Chelsea right now? Um. If I say William or Hazard. Okay, that's fair. Those are good fun guys. Mm -hmm. I don't like Kosa, but he <laughs> gets goals, so that's all that matters. Oh, really. so you, you like the new coach? Yeah, he's doing pretty good. I mean, they can't really do worse than they did last season. Gotcha. Yeah, that's probably, that was probably my favorite season <laughs> last year. How about him now? Like, where is he at? All right, who's your overall favorite player? Uh, overall, Messi. Yeah. For sure, for sure. It's healthy. Yeah, it's cause of a lot of argument in the locker room. Really? People try to say Cristiano and then it just gets heated. <laughs> Do you wake up early to watch games? Do you guys have uh, some, all those nighttime kickoffs? Yeah, uh, occasionally when I can, I'll watch games. And when I go back home, I'll be hanging out with like, a lot of my soccer buddies from high school and we'll wake up and watch games together. Oh god. Oh. This is a good start. I, I thought that was an early I goal. I haven't <laughs> had the ball in this half yet. What are you doing? Okay, so you played soccer in high school, right? Mm hmm. All through high school? Yeah. I've played soccer my whole life. Yeah. And then I just got into kicking. Gotcha. Who did you model your game after when you played soccer? Uh, Zidane. Oh, I'm really? a big fan of him. Okay. Really big fan. So you've been watching, you've watched soccer your whole life. And all that. Yeah, I actually went to a game for the Euros this summer. Oh really? Yeah. Which one did you go to? Uh, we, because you kind of like fill out tickets or whatever, yeah. so and you like don't really know your game. So I went and uh, watched Wells play Ireland like round of 16 at PSG Stadium, which is pretty awesome. I don't like this. Oh come on! Yeah, I would say I got very <laughs> nervous. Dude, I got the tall task of no getting work. past the right away. Okay, so when it, you started kicking when? Uh, junior high, I kind of did it for fun, and then high school started getting more serious. How'd you get into it? They were just like, hey, you like, uh, I practiced one day, I was like, who wants to be kicker? And then basically whoever kicked the furthest, and then but my brother was a kicker at high school, so I kind of was always into it. Oh, really? So you wanted, like... Yeah, I wanted kicker. to do it. Okay. And he played soccer... In... He played, like, a juco when he was uh, in college. Okay, gotcha. Sheesh. <laughs> I'm just going to screw it. No. Worth the try. Um, okay, best part of being a kicker? Uh... You get the, you, I mean, you kind of can, I was going to say you can kind of control your own fate, but I mean, you have the snapper and the holder, and if they kind of mess up, it kind of ruins everything. Yeah. But, uh, the rec, I mean, you just get like, uh, it's not as much running as like all other positions, which is like <laughs> obvious statement to make, but uh, you definitely have a big part, and you get to score a lot of points, which is awesome, and like, help determine the game. Mm -hmm. So, I'll probably say that's probably one of my favorite parts. What's your least favorite part? Um, the limited reps a game, usually you only get like, say you go out there and you only have one field goal game and if you miss it, then that's just like, that's your you, until the next week you're stressing. Like it's one of those things where like, we have game winners every day at practice and if you miss it, you have it, you're basically just thinking about it all day until the next practice. Mm -hmm. 
Do you have a favorite kick that you like a favorite field goal you've made or it's just like that's the one you're gonna remember the most? Uh, the Utah one was pretty cool, obviously, because I my one game winner here. But uh, I mean, all of them are like, I mean, every time you see the ball go through uprights, it's always just like a great feeling. Mm -hmm. So, do you have superstitions like pregame or in game? Uh, I would say I'm a pretty superstitious person. Yeah. Always I do eat the same pregame meal every time, breakfast before get in the mornings at the hotel. Um, yeah, cross myself for every kick. Kind of do like that. Mm -hmm. What's your What's your pregame meal? Uh, well, they have it already set out for us, but it's usually spaghetti with a little bit of meatballs, mashed potatoes. Um, what else is there? Chicken, a couple chicken legs always. Okay. And then breakfast is always biscuits and gravy and bacon. Okay, that's not bad. <laughs> I'm a big biscuit and gravy fan. Yeah. Who would do better, you if you punted, or Matt if he had to kick a field goal? Uh, I would probably say, because I can punt, I punted in high school, so I'd probably say me, but I don't know how he'll feel about that. that. No way. <laughs> I love no Germany. No way, That's bro. perfect. That, that, I deserve that. Sheesh. <laughs> Sheesh. I was roughing the kicker. Yeah. That was, oh, that was a bad I'll, I'll get to that. I'll get to that. No! Oh my god. Oh my gosh. And I think, yeah, that's an away goal too. <laughs> that's that's big. That's a half. That's how you want to close halves, folks. I don't know. That was a question to call. And the game should have been called a halftime. It's the only one that <laughs> have extra time. It's the third minute. The game, the game wanted me to score. Wow. Let's see, I knew he was going to blow it. Okay, <laughs> halftime question. So you've been around Todd Graham for four years, four years plus. What's your best Todd Graham impression? I can't do it. I'm not good at this. Uh, we have some guys on the teams that are really good doing impressions, but uh, what's one? What's a good one, man? There's a lot of one. It's like rise your ass up or something like that. That's like what he always says. Is man. That his like pregame go-to. Yeah. Or uh, what's another one? Coach Patterson always says it too. It's like get your piss hot. Like some weird stuff like that. that I don't know. There's like some weird ones, but they're they're really funny. What's the funniest story you can tell us about the interaction between you and him? Coach Graham? Mm -hmm. uh, when he tries to like talk about kicking, it's kind of funny. Because, uh, I mean, he does know and he tries to hit me. He's an awesome coach. He's always trying to coach something else. But mm -hmm. uh, it's just kind of funny when he, like, try, he'll like go out there and try to like, joke around, kick a ball, or like, try to teach me how to tackle. And like, obviously, it's like, kind of <laughs> not a thing. But yeah. uh, I don't know. It's pretty funny. Uh, it's a little stuff like that, I would probably say. Makes sense. Nothing too much, really. Yeah. All right. Get to the second half so you can make a comeback. I know, I need it. See, I don't even feel good about the goal because it was a penalty. I don't get how. Like, he didn't even, like, fall over. Like, uh. Okay. All right, so here's one. If you had to choose between tackling Demario or tackling Kalen. Oh, that's a horrible <laughs> one. I really couldn't tackle. I only had to tackle one of my running backs. My running backs are crazy. That, that was lucky. Uh, oh. If I had to choose, I'd probably say DeMario, <laughs> but that's really not going to go good. Because I've seen I've seen both of them chuck through people, honestly. Yeah. I mean, just, yeah, I mean, a Texas Tech game, look at Kalen, like, it's unreal. Oh, my. There was one, he trucked a guy. Oh, there's a guy for him. No, get it off. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. No way. <laughs> That's second. That's the second one. Oh my word! And neither of them have like a. I don't even think that first one was a card. I guess, but like, but, <laughs> like, I, I don't know. I'm not gonna say anything. No call, I feel. We're gonna risk everything. Oh my god! Did you go down the middle? I chipped it. Yeah. I saw that coming too. That's what my brother does always. Wow, two away goals. Two oh. penalties. Two horrible penalties. Yeah, you, you gotta step it up, man. I thought you were good at this game. Whoa! <laughs> man, this is those penalties, like. Uh -huh. What's your least favorite road trip to go on? Um, Washington State's horrible to travel to. Really? It's absolutely horrible because, like, uh, Washington, Oregon, you have to drive. From the hotel to the stadium is like an hour drive on the mm -hmm. bus. Oh, for real? But uh, the hardest place to play would probably be, I'd say, Utah. Really? Utah is on a roll loud. Those fans are crazy. 
Okay, so you're going to the NFL soon. Like, I think that everybody kind of assumes that. I hope, man. <laughs> um, who is your favorite NFL team? Um, Texans, obviously, because I'm from Houston. Yeah. But uh, I do like the Giants as well. Okay. Do you have a favorite football player? Uh, I wouldn't really say a favorite football player, but right now I'm really a big fan of Wentz. Do you have a favorite kicker? Like, do you model uh, your game after kickers, or is it yeah, just your own thing? Yeah, I definitely do. I uh, watch a lot of different kickers, but I'd probably say the one I like, model the most is Justin Tucker. I'm a really big fan of him. And okay, Texan guy. His, <laughs> yeah, and his consistency is awesome. And like, jeez, bro, come <laughs> on. If you could play another position, what would it be? I know you wanted um, to play kicker like right away, but probably quarterback receiver. I, I don't know. I think it'd be cool just like be able to control the game the way quarterbacks do. Mm -hmm. Do you feel way out of control because of your position? Uh, I mean, you're out of control in the ways that you don't get to go on the field and like do all that kind of stuff. But uh, you're in control because you handle a lot of points. I mean, mm -hmm. extra points are huge. Uh, field goals obviously can change the game, stuff like that. So yeah. everybody has like their own role, and you try to kind of accept it. Have you ever tried to talk Coach Graham into letting you like do a fake field goal run or something like that? I always want to do a fake field goal, but we never seem to be running them, so <laughs> it's whatever. I ran, we ran a two-point conversion my sophomore year, and I got a reception and then done for a two-point conversion. Oh. That was probably the highlight of my career. <laughs> Horrible game, you guys. <laughs> so uh, I'm bad out 2 nothing. Bad refing. Uh, two penalties that didn't even get yellow cards. Like, oh, I'm just good. It happens. It hurts. It's fine. <laughs>